Rightio guys, so, holy crap, we're going to buy a bloody motorbike. It's Thursday afternoon, what time is it? 5.30. <laughs> We're going down to Anglesey, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Anglesey, which is down Melbourne, Geelong way, and um, oh, it's a mix. It's, it's, I'm not telling you what this bloody bike is. It's something old and cruddy looking, but we might be able to turn it into something pretty good. So anyway, we've got to race down there. There's going to be a guy at another guy's place um, down there that's got the bike. It was owned by a guy, another guy that's died and it's left so they're just happy to get rid of the bloody thing so we're going to go down and quickly have a look at it i've got the trailer on the back i've got to quickly fill up and we've got to get there at eight o'clock to uh to check this out that's when this guy's going to be there so it's all rush 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 anyway got to pull in and get some petrol rightio guys we have made it it's still is on the right thank you very much we just got a glimpse of the bloody ocean i wanted to uh we've come all this way but um we might get a chance to show you the ocean just for the hell of it <laughs> right yeah guys so we have done the deal here it is don't freak out oh yeah she's a bit rough that's it yamaha virago 250. <laughs> Right, so we've got to get this on the bloody trailer. Okay. Yep. Go. Beautiful. Got that stand or? Oh, yeah. Over. Look at that. Easy as. Rightio, guys, so it is on. Look at that. My woman working away. <laughs> That's crazy, eh? Um, everything just works. All the lights, all the blinkers, the high beam, runs through the gears. We just started it up. Like just straight up, just started. Everything just runs really good. Hey, right. neutral light. I was trying to find neutral. Neutral light works. I didn't look at the speedo actually, but uh, yeah, bloody good shit, I reckon. Rightio guys, so this is the next morning from picking up uh, the bike. I've just put it out here. I've just gone around and just taken a whole heap of photos from all different angles and close-ups of all the bits and pieces, just so that we've got a um, before and after. So I'm just going to go around the bike a little bit with the video camera. Because hopefully it'll be a cast a stark contrast from what it is now to even after we wash it because we'd like to wash it and give it a bit of a rub just to see what comes up now obviously the stuff like the rust is not going to do anything but just you know how all this stuff what what the condition is underneath this and underneath that and the tank and I think just a wash is going to bring this bike up um, considerably. Rightio yeah, guys, so I've given the old Virago a bit of a wash. Now remember, I have just washed it. That's all I've done and I've done a few little bits of polishes just to get a difference of how it's, come, uh, how it's going to come up. So it's actually washed up really good, like the crud's all come off it. Yeah. Yeah, there are spots like this where I hit the hose and this stuff just started coming off. But that's all right because this will all get, all get, you know, sanded back and then that'll get coated and that'll be flat black, all that whole thing. So that's no worries. You know, things like these have all come up well. The main parts of the frame, they seem to be really, really good. It, from what I can tell, it's all these little, these little bits here, um, like there, um, it's all the shitty metal. At the stuff that attached on is the bits that have uh, that have rusted on it. So 
I'm pretty happy about that. Um, the shocks, I'm not too sure. I'm most probably going to black them out. I don't know if I can kind of like clean these up. It seems pretty spongy. We may get new shocks for it. I'm not too sure. Um, but, I mean, the seat's all... You know, the seat's in pretty bloody good nick. I mean, like I said, it's just washed. I haven't really, you know, given it a good bloody clean up. Um, all the, uh, all these bits here seem, there's no polish on it, but they're all straight. No major scratches. Um, that's going to get taken off, obviously, get replaced with small stuff. These spokes all get sandblasted and they'll get all painted black. Um, if I get the, if I was to get the polish and a scrubber on it, that all come up really well. Um, now the the exhaust pipe, you can see here, I've just put some polish on there, and that's brought that up as you can see. But there are certain spots on it, namely here, all this through here. I've just polished through that section there, and it's brought it up. But I can see and feel that there is rust underneath there. So all this it has, has to be grinded, sanded, whatever, um, back to get all that rust out, which means I'm going to lose all that, um, all that chrome. So this may get blacked out. I'm not too sure. This is all going to get cleaned up, and that'll get wrapped. So obviously my idea is, you know, I want to get rid of the rust um, and then... Prep it, prep it so that you know, I'm not just going to paint over rust and it's just going to eventually just come back out. I want to try and uh, get rid of as much as that as I can. Um, over here I just did a quick little polish, not much, and that'll just, all, all this crud here, that'll all easily come off and bring all that back. Um, here all this stuff's just come up really good. There's a couple of marks here that won't come out. Um, over these bloody things, you can see that there, look at that. That will all just come up, no worries at all. What else have we got? So, the handlebar is going to go, I'm going to get a, they'll have straight through handlebars. I've got an issue here that's just loose, so I reckon I should be able to fix that, no worries. Just for giving it a wash, I mean, I, I was quite amazed how much a lot of the stuff come off, but obviously these will get replaced. Even this came up really good, but that's coming off. These are coming off. This is all nice, straight and smooth. If I polish that, that'd look bloody brand new. The forks are all pretty bloody good. Um, I have a problem here, but the forks seem to come up and down to about there, so I should be able to just smooth that out and that shouldn't be an issue with affecting um, the seals down here. Yeah, because there's all that up there, but I should be able to get rid of all that. A lot of this bits and pieces in here, wire stuff will most probably get uh, peed off. So, so far, I'm, uh, I'm pretty bloody happy with how it's just come up with a wash. Now, me and Nay were talking, what are we going to do with this bike, you know? Do we do the Mark Victor adventurize and take it off road? Um, I'm not looking to keep this bike. I want to. I want to do it up and then sell it off. Um, so that's not the way to go. <laughs> There's not too many people that are going to pay for a bike to you know to have it do that to do that type of thing. You'd go and buy a DR650 or whatever you know type of bike. Um, so then we're going. Do we do Cafe Racer? Or do we do the cruisers, you know, the sleek, not bobber, but, um, you know, the Harley style look. And I think that's, that's where we're going we're gonna to look at doing it. So that's coming off, that's coming off. So we're going to, we'll end up with that kind of that sleek look, obviously, the, that all that's coming off, having the straight bars. I think that should give it its best look. And um, I think that'll be the biggest market for me to try and sell it and get you know, a larger range of people. It'll be um, your learners, pea platers, you know, the, the young guys wanting a cruisery looking bike and obviously having it all debranded. I think um, that'll be my best bet to sell it for the most amount of money. I'm not gonna try and, you know, I'm happy just to sell it and make it back 
make back my money that I've put into it because I'm getting the videos that you guys will watch, whoever's interested in me doing this. <laughs> um, and just my my and Nay's bloody entertainment out of doing it. So so I think we'll call it uh, Cruiser Bobber style is what we're going to go with. Righty, guys, so we thought we'd uh, start checking some of the service stuff and hello. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. The air cleaner has seen better days. That's totally got his accurate. value out of it. Well, he did get his value out of it, didn't he? Go oh, with that. Cool. All right. So we need a new air filter. First job. Well, there you go, guys. A Virago, call me crazy. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be called the Budget Bike Build Virago 250. I suppose um, what I want out of this is, I don't know, show people that, you know, you don't have to get the BMW, KDM, Harley Davidson, um, you know, spend those big bucks to get a decent bike. Now I'm hoping <laughs> that I can make this decent looking. Now I know so far, this is a really good running bike. I mean, when I rode it, when I picked it up, when I came home, we came home and I went around the block on it, everything, the, all the electrics, the motor, the gears, everything worked really well. Now I do have a problem with the front brake when I lifted it up and it's, it's partly jammed on. It's still kind of working, but so I've got a bit of uh, stuff to do on that. But apart from that, everything is just great. It's just the rust. There's so much bloody rust on it. But it's it seems to be only certain points. And everywhere that I've looked, there's a part on, on the engine there I'm a, a little bit worried about, but we're going we're gonna to scoop that stuff off and see what's underneath there. And I reckon we should be able to just sand that, fix it all up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to fix all this up. It's got to be roadworthy. It's got to be registerable, um, and oh, what I want to do is basically because I've got because this has got to be roadworthy and registered. I can't go crazy and start chopping back fenders and and all that kind of stuff because they will just knock it when it comes to getting a roadworthy. The whole idea of this bike is to. Um, have fun, entertain myself, fixing it up, trying to make a good looking bike out of it, um, but then sell it at the end of it. So that I'm giving it a new lease on life. Um, and obviously the guy that passed away that owned this clearly had, um, clearly had some good times on it, um, but it just got neglected and it's just sat there for quite a while and being down at Anglesey near the sea and you know, that air, it's just, it's things have just started to rust up too much on it. So uh, bring it back to life and then sell it to someone that's going to get on it and buddy, you know, have fun and adventures on it. So some of the things that I know is wrong is the front brake um, has got an issue. That was the other thing, you know, the petrol tank, when you look in, inside there, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, there was no smoke. So things that I looked at, obviously, is that it, it started up idle beautifully no worries at all the suspension it felt very plush i was actually quite surprised it's a very comfortable bike to ride and that seat as ugly as it is um i've always looked at these viragos and i just the seat always turned me off this bike and i just wondered why people didn't change them and i don't know whether it's because it's such a comfy seat we're going to be changing it <laughs> um yeah, crazy. Um, yeah, I was really surprised at, at, at how how good a bike it was. I, I'm, I need to get Nay's bike out, the, the Intruder, go for a ride on it, and then straight after jump on this and go for a ride. Just Because in my head at the moment, I'm thinking, man, this feels like a better bike to ride than what it does um, with Nay's Intruder. But if that's because the it felt just really kind of like spongy and comfortable, there's a playoff there because obviously the handling won't be as good when you start going fast and I'm rambling, sorry guys. Um, 
So it's going to be. So yeah, so I want to go through, identify all the bits and pieces that which we know is all the rust, um, all the light bloody blinkers and back stuff. They're going to be all swapped out for new, uh, new smaller stuff, better looking stuff. The two front pods are coming off. The other side's a fake one. It actually houses a what they call a thermo switch. And I thought, what the hell do you have a thermo switch for? It's not oil cooled, it's not um, water cooled, it's air cooled, that's it. There's, what does it need a thermo? Well apparently the carburetor has a wire element in it and that heats up. So when you when it's cold and you go to start it up, it heats that up in the carby so that it runs until it warms up. So that's all that that other side holds so we can just re remove that and mount that somewhere else. The other thing is that <clears throat> this exhaust pipe here that exhaust, that top exhaust pipe, is totally fake. It doesn't do anything. Um, so this front um, header here, here, the cylinder there, that gets exhausted out through that bottom one, and you go, well, when, where's this one getting exhausted? There's a pipe behind here that comes out, goes down, and joins onto that bottom exhaust pipe and goes out there. So this does absolutely nothing. Crazy. Learning stuff all the time. Um, so we're going to go, uh, it'll all be debadged, the tank, front guard, rear guard will, will all be flat black, obviously top coated which will bring that flap up a little bit. <clears throat> uh, all the engine's going to be flat black, except for this part here that'll get uh, polished up. These headers here will be flat black but then I will um, sand the edges. It actually will be similar to what uh, Harry the Boulevard. So it's going to be black inside there except for the edge of these rims will come up like chrome. Um, these chrome top bits here will stay chrome. The frame seems in really good nick. The paint job's really in good nick. Um, so I most probably won't have to touch that and I'll leave that with that gloss black and hopefully the gloss black with the flat black, it should do a good a, a good look. Uh, most probably paint the uh, the front forks will get uh, blacked out. I'm not too sure with the rims. The rims look really really shitty, but I had a bit of a play today with them. And they're coming up all right, but I'm not too sure whether I can bring them up enough. So they may end up being sandblast. I think as I said, and blacked out. But I'm not. I haven't uh, confirmed that yet. Cool. So, um, so budget bike build. I was going to do thinking of doing a separate um, video series for that, but um, I'm going to change this because you're getting bored, aren't you? I don't know. I'm going to change the look. Radio. Now, can you see something wrong here? It clearly says here Pooks. But who's it? Chubby? What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hopeless. All the animals around here are just too docile. Um, so what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? Oh, I know what I was saying. Uh, so I was thinking of doing a, a, it's uh, this bike build bloody series, its own series of videos, but I'm not going to do that. Um, this will basically take over from doing like the wood heaters, those little projects that I do, the welding projects and bits and pieces. It'll be those in the Man Cave Tuesday. Um, I think trying to do a whole separate thing with that, plus the Man Cave Tuesday, plus I'm getting back into the shit easy motorcycle camp cooking and review, you know, the, obviously the reviews and then the brides, it just, it'll be a bloody crazy. Um, so I think that'll be the best option. Now, what, um, what I'm going to do, I've spoken with, I spoke with the crew, um, so that's Patreon, um, and some of the tip jar, regular tip jar guys, uh, I actually talked about doing a, a bike build and um, and how we could do do it to maybe try and get people onto uh, Patreon to support the channel to make it, you know, hopefully keep getting it growing, getting more bloody content and all that kind of stuff into it. Um, I just, I, there's, there's a guy that does wrecked bike build um, and that's, he has a series and it's just that and he gets all people get on the Patreon then they get a chance of basically winning the bike so it ends up being a raffle and all that kind of stuff but I'm not going I'm not I'm not going down that I'm not going to go down that route 
basically when we go to sell this and I've got this all smick and sellable and it's all spot on um, I'm going to uh, give the crew first option at buying this bike um, and it's going to be bargain basement price I can I won't not going to say it tell you exactly what it is at the moment but I can tell you it will be far less than what I actually paid for the original price which was nine hundred and fifty dollars um, if nobody on the page uh, on the patreon or none of the crew guys uh, wants to buy it well then I'll release it to you guys the YouTube guys um, to say hey anybody interested here's here's the going price now um, and if nobody's interested then I'll just I'll just whack it up on you know, bike sales or Gumtree or something like that and just flog it off at, at, at a uh, you know at its market value cool